Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today's highly requested video is going to be one of your favorites. I just feel it. We are talking Amazon fall fashion. Now, a lot of this stuff, I did aim to get stuff that's very similar to the Nordstrom sale stuff that's like being sold right now that still costs more than this and is also selling out faster than these pieces. So we are just winning on all fronts today. I am so excited for this video. Okay, so everything will be down in the description bar below for you to shop two separate ways. One way will be a blog blog post by outfit. The second will be through my Amazon storefront. Honestly, that's just like through trial and error, the easiest way that I've found you guys really enjoy shopping. So that's going to be how you guys can shop all this stuff. I also am going to have my measurements. Like I now have my measurements listed in the description bar below for you guys to check out, but I really do. I mean, still just recommend looking at a size chart before you purchase something just in case. I also will be showing this stuff try on style. Some of it you've maybe have seen before. Some of it was from last season that I still really love this year. That's still sold. Um, but most of it is new and I cannot wait to share. So don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. I'd love to have you join my YouTube family and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to first start out with the accessories because I definitely have the least amount of that stuff. So I'll start out with the hats. You guys know that like I am an avid hat wearer. I love hats and I get these from Amazon. I have them in four colors um, because I have a big head and one size does not fit all in hats. So this comes in a men and a women's size. And so I just get the men's size and these hats fit perfectly. So all of them come with this little belt like buckle, I guess on it. You cannot take that belt buckle off. I realized that recently, but I do still love these hats for fall. Again, four colors, love every single one. But something I've noticed recently is the new trend is a hat with like a strip of a patterned fabric around it. A lot of people are trying a bunch of different things for adding that rather than buying like a brand new hat that has that pattern on it just because one, like who wants to store another hat and two, they're outrageously expensive. So what I did was I purchased a pack of scarves, like little hair scarves from Amazon and tied them around my hats. I have the leopard print and the snakeskin, and it is such a cute little accessory to any hat. This is the leopard print and this is the snakeskin. It comes in a pack of three, and I think the like three packs like $9. So very cute way to accessorize your hat without it being permanent. Um, I love this style. Like this is honestly, if I wasn't already so obsessed with hats, like this would make me start being really into them because it is just such a cute little extra way to add some print to your outfit. So I will link the hats for you guys and the scarves below. So, so cute for fall. Another accessory is this bow for throw um, or stole, I guess. This one is really long. It actually comes all the way down to my waist um, and I'm five foot nine, so it is really long. You can loop this through. There's like a little hole in it so that you can loop it through and tie it like that if you have like a fancy event. But honestly, I really like it like this. I think that you can add this to a bunch of different outfits, especially when it's like super cold outside and it makes it just like a little bit more glam. And it's also really warm. So I did get this at the very end. Actually, it might've been the earlier like this year. So at the very end of winter and I haven't really had that much of a chance to wear it, but dang, I love it. And then the last hat that I got is this little leopard print hat from Amazon. It has the little like pom pom on top, which I think is so cute. It is very long. Like as you can see, I mean, that thing is like very warm. Um, you can roll it up a little bit more though. So let's see. There you go. Obviously I wouldn't have my hair like this, but I think the pom-pom is like a really cute little um, addition to the hat. I saw this a lot last year and usually I'm not like into bug and wear when it comes to fashion, but like this is adorable. So I might just be this year. <laughs> and then I actually have four pairs of shoes, you guys, from Amazon. They are some of the best lookalikes I've ever seen. So this is a shoe in the Nordstrom sale this year. It's a Vince Camuto booty. It runs for, I believe like 150 maybe. Um, and then in the Nordstrom sale, I believe it's like under a hundred, like it's like right at like 90 something. Um, but this is a very popular booty. It's really comfortable. And this is from Amazon. So I did get the black in the Amazon booty because I didn't want to have just, you know, two of the exact same shoe just for the purpose of having them. Um, but you can see how similar they look. I mean, the profile is exactly the same. Heel height is the same. 
it, it, the only difference, seriously, is that maybe this one doesn't have a zipper. Now the Amazon shoes do come in a few different patterns, um, but I just got the black snake skin because I wanted a like fun little black booty. I love the slit in the side. I do think that makes your legs look super long. Maybe that's just me, but I love that style for fall. So these are really, really good find. Um, from Amazon, they are really comfortable and I got down half a size. So size down half, they fit perfect. Sorry, I'm kind of like flying through these. I feel like I want to get through the accessories quickly because I don't want to like this video to be like, you know, three hours long. Um, the next is these flat mules that are from Amazon. They're from like the Jin Ardor, I think that's how you would say it, um, collection and they look so similar to a lot of the designer options. Um, I actually have had this pair for about a month and a half, maybe two months at this point. And I recently found this one because these sell out so fast on Amazon. So if you see them in your size, get them because they will sell out, especially the white ones. I did go up half a size in both and they're really, really comfortable. Um, these are like more of a, they are coming off pretty true to color on camera. So they're definitely like a light pink, little bit of a mauve under, undertone to it. And then these are like a true white and then they both have gold hardware. So really, really comfortable mules. I love these and I actually cannot wait to wear these. It's just been raining here too much lately. Um, but you guys will see me in these on repeat this fall. And then the last accessory is, you guys, I could just, I can't believe this. These look so similar to my Goodnight Macaroon Gray over the knee booties. Like, if you were to tell me they came from the same manufacturer, I would believe you and wouldn't fight you one bit. They are super comfortable. They're just as long, fit the same exact way. Heel height is exactly the same. Zipper is in the same place. They hug your legs very well. Now, I did see a few people in the review section of Amazon saying that like the fabric would bunch on them or even like the back part um, was a little bit loose. I do need to just still point out that everyone's bodies are different including our legs and really, really skinny legs. I don't think are gonna still have that same effect with the over the knee boots. Um, but if you have like thicker legs, like I have really muscular thighs, um, then I don't think you'll have any issues at all. A little trick you can do is buy like either thigh high or over the knee socks if you have an issue with shoes like this staying up and um, then you can wear them and they'll kind of like grip the inside of the boot. But I don't think I'm gonna have to do that because these stay up all on their own, you guys. These are probably one of my favorite Amazon finds like to date, seriously. Okay, for clothing. I looked for a leopard print dress that I could share with you guys because the Nordstrom sale has a leopard print dress that everyone is just talking all about. And I like it, but it, I don't know. This one is a little bit different because it does have um, buttons here and then a few more ruffles while the dress from Nordstrom is like just tight right here and then flowy. But this looks super similar. It's really comfortable. I love the way this looks on, especially with over the knee boots. I think it's super cute for fall. You guys know I love animal print. Like, I mean, I literally have already showed you like what three things that are animal print or some kind of print that's my favorite. So the leopard print dress is really gonna be popular this year. Um, and I love that I found this option from Amazon. You can wear it so many different ways and it's actually really thick. It's not gonna be thin. Um, you're not gonna feel like it's paper thin. Like you know how some things can feel really, really thin um, from Amazon. This is actually a really good material. So leopard print for fall without a doubt. I will totally forget. So I do want to mention the sweater that I have on right now. It is a turtleneck and it does have just like one seam down the middle. It is such a comfortable find. Now, of course it's August and it's like a million degrees outside. And if I was to walk outside in this right now, I would sweat to death, but you will see me in this nonstop this fall. I love the color. It's like a true creamy white. It's not stark white. It's gonna like turn blue um, and it's not like tan or taupe or anything. It is a very creamy soft white and it is such a comfortable sweater. I get very picky about turtlenecks because I feel like they get a little suffocating like. I get very claustrophobic with um, turtlenecks and this one does not bother me at all. Very comfortable, fits true to size, really cozy. And I really like the length of it too. I think the length is like perfect for lots of different looks. 
Next up, I have, I guess I don't have to hold these actually. I mean, I'm showing them to you guys. Next up, I have this green like olive trench coat. I really wanted to find a good trench coat this year. One that was thin, but still would keep me warm because I feel like that's just really gonna be a piece you see a lot this year. And I wanted to do an olive green because I wanted something a little different from what I have in my closet. I'm trying to wear a little bit more color. And the olive green is such a good neutral still for fall. This one does have a belt and it has real pockets, which I also love. I hate faux pockets. I think they're such a waste, but I get it for some looks. So this one is a really good find. It does come in a few different colors, but again, I just got the olive green. Um, I'm five foot nine again for reference with the length fits really, really well. Okay. So the next piece is this adorable cardigan. You guys know I, okay, first I need to stop saying adorable, but you guys know that cardigans are like my favorite piece in my closet to wear like because you can just wear them so many different ways and this was the most requested piece that you guys asked for when i asked what you wanted to look for in like a fall video you guys said cardigans so i got a lot of cardigans and this one is a really good neutral color it's really really soft it's a knit material but it doesn't feel like, I don't want to say cheap because that's not what like it feels like. But you know how sometimes a cardigan can be so cozy that it almost looks like very sloppy and, and almost like a blanket? This one is still very like knit and structured. So you can wear this to work. You can wear it when you're dressing up. Um, just a bunch of different ways to wear it. But I really like the color of this one too because I think it is also like a true creamy white. It does have a little bit more of a yellow tone to it, but not like taupe and it's not stark white. So it's not going to turn that like blue color after some time but really comfortable cardigan and I seriously make this in every color they have available because it's a good find next is this fuzzy little piece I don't even know what you would actually call it like fringe cardigan I'm just like fuzzy sweater and that's like how I'll refer to it so it is actually been in my closet for about a month and a half now and I cannot wait to wear it I've already styled it in a few different videos this is such a cute little like unique piece I definitely have more of like a girly boho style the older I get I don't even know if that's a thing that's what I call it but this fits into my true girly boho vibe it is thin enough to wear um and you're not going to be like sweating to death, but I definitely wouldn't like go outside right now in August and wear it because it would be uh, a little crazy, uh, but it will keep you warm in the fall months. So it's good piece. It does come in a few different colors, but I do believe that the gray last time I checked, like if you get the gray, I don't even think it'll show up until like September at this point, like end of September. So I got the neutral, like it's actually more of a beige color. Um, it is coming off a little bit like pink on camera, but it is a true beige and it is gore. Jess. I love doing this with like a band tee, um, lots of different ways to style it. That is going to be a piece you will also see on repeat this fall. I mean, essentially like this is going to just be my wardrobe over and over and over again. Like I'm just going to like start wearing these pieces when it gets cold and I'll just stop when it gets hot again. Okay. Sorry. I keep like rocking this thing back and forth, but this cardigan is a total, I feel like I hit like a, I found a diamond in a haystack, like not a needle, a diamond. You guys, this feels just like a Barefoot Dreams blanket. My mother, I got her a Barefoot Dreams blanket and I asked her, I was like, mom, you need to feel this cardigan. Tell me, does this feel just like your blanket? And she was like, yes. I have had this since last year and it is still one of my most worn pieces in my closet to date. It has held its structure so well. I was a little bit nervous about it kind of looking flimsy and floppy after a while and it still looks great. I've actually worn this a lot to work. Like I'll wear this cardigan with like um, black dress, black tights and like black booties and it looks super good and still professional, but like also kind of like comfy. Um, it is a little bit of a longer cardigan. So you could definitely wear this with like leggings, bunch of different ways to style this. These pieces are all I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I really did some research on these pieces before I bought them and I wanted to make sure you could wear them a lot of different ways. And this cardigan is one of them, especially since I've had it for a year now, like I've styled this so many ways. The next piece is actually a black Amazon basics cargo jacket. I really wanted it in green, but when I bought this last year, they only had it in black and I was like, okay, that's fine. And I actually really like the black. I wear it a lot. It looks like a designer piece. It's very well made very soft and I mean it's from Amazon this is actually a good piece I feel for even like the wetter months wetter months um, like January and February when it's cold but you also kind of like need something to help 
keep the rain off this isn't like a rain jacket but i do notice that it is like has slight like rain repellent to it i mean obviously you can't like stand out in the rain with it you get what I mean. It's just a really good neutral piece for fall. This year I'll probably get the green one because it is really comfortable um, and such a good like basic in my closet and it's black and you know like the olive green color can be worn a lot of different ways as well. So um, I'll definitely have the green one on my list but this black one I did want to share because I've had it for a year and it's really really good. This black cardigan you guys. This is one of those when I'm <laughs> I don't want to say it's sloppy, but this is definitely not a material I feel you could wear um, to work. I don't know. Maybe you could. It just depends on your job. But this is definitely more of a blanket feeling and looking kind of cardigan. It does still have a really pretty hang to it, very structured, and it does have pockets, but I do feel like this is going to be a piece that will stretch out over time and look a little bit more like lazy work from home vibe which you're all still probably doing at this point. I am back at the office full time. Um, they sent us back like in May, I believe. So um, I've been back for a hot minute, but if I was still working from home, like I could definitely see this being my jam. Like I would put like a basic white t-shirt over it, you know, like crew neck and then just throw this and you still look presentable enough for conference calls. This thick black sweater, you guys, is probably one of the thickest sweaters I own apart from my free people sweaters like this sucker is a piece now I did see some reviews that it does shed a lot and while I don't think it necessarily sheds a lot I can say it definitely picks up a lot now I have like nine million and four animals so when you have that many animals it's kind of inevitable like everything you have is just going to basically be covered in animal hair um so this does have animal hair all over it but this is one of the softest sweaters probably in my closet as well and it looks very similar to a lot of the more expensive options that I'm seeing in the in sale right now. Um, I just got it in a black because I did get this one in the white neutral. These are not the same sweater, uh, but I definitely could see going back and buying this in every color available because it is really, really comfortable and so well made. Like thick, heavy duty, it feels very durable. Um, I don't think it's going to stretch. It doesn't feel like it's going to be one of those that really stretches out, but I take, like, I have this hung up just for the video. I don't hang my sweaters. I actually fold them so that they, like, hold their integrity for a little bit longer. Um, so we'll see over time, but so far, I mean, this has been a very impressive piece from Amazon. This next cardigan is one that I also bought earlier this year. Like, I want to say it was, like, maybe February. It's just a plain black long line cardigan. I wanted something simple that wasn't a knit material. I wanted it to be sleek and I didn't want it to have any buttons. And this one basically hit all bullet points. So very, very comfortable. It's not going to keep you super warm. This one is very thin, but it's a gorgeous piece to have in your closet. So many ways to wear it. I actually loved it. I styled it with, I believe it was a gray tee and then I wore some like flare jeans and some pointed toe booties on a date night with my husband and it looked so fabulous. So I can really attest to the quality of this piece. It has held up um, so far really well for the last six months and I did get a good little bit of wear out of it like February, March time. So I really enjoy it. This is going to be another good piece you could wear, you know, working from home. It's very cozy, even though it is still thin. Um, I mean, it's from Amazon. So like, what's not to love? This next piece I've actually had my eye on for a few years, but I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it because I love this look, this like poncho looking style. Um, I have a few ponchos in my closet and I wear them a lot. And so I was like, I mean, is it really, do you really need another neutral cardigan? Like, although I film fashion videos, I still try to keep in mind, like, I don't want to just buy things for the sake of buying them to share. I want to actually wear them. And I ended up just saying, you know what? I got so much wear out of my ponchos last year that it was almost ridiculous. So I will buy this and I will definitely wear it this year. I like that this one does have a little loop right here for you to, um, like, keep the cardigan together you know i'll show you on the screen but so it's going to be a little bit more um put together look i think than some of the other ones that i have that just like hang open this is great for many occasions i feel like i will wear this most though for work when i'm like having to dress like professionally or even if i'm going out wanted to wear like a black dress underneath this so many easy ways to style this piece and it does come in lots of different colors i just got the neutral colors because I mean, at the end of the day, I'm trying to wear more color, but let's be honest, I'm, it's not going to happen. 
Okay, so next up is this mustard cardigan. Again, you guys requested a lot of cardigans and this one was at the very top of my list. I actually think when I hopped on Amazon to purchase the like fall order, I just, I think I just generally typed in like fall sweaters, cardigans, you know, whatever for women. And this was like one of the first thing that popped up and I was like, yep, add to cart, didn't care, didn't look at the reviews. I just knew it was gonna be a good piece and I was really right. I love the mustard color of this. I feel like it's not too orange, it's not too red, it's not too yellow. You know what I mean? It's like a really good combo. And I like the button detail on this as well. I think it's a really good color for fall. I think it's gonna be so cute to wear a bunch of different ways. I could see wearing this to an apple orchard, which is like as basic as it gets, a pumpkin patch, anything like that. Date night with your husband. I could definitely see this being worn just lots of different ways. It's a really comfortable piece and it fits true to size. So let me go grab my blank NYC jacket. Hold on. So this is my blank NYC faux leather jacket. They have this jacket as a part of the Nordstrom sale every year, but I can always find it at Nordstrom Rack for even cheaper than that. And the one thing they have that sells out every year is the suede version of this jacket. It is currently sold out right now. So I found this option from Amazon. This is more of a cognac color. They did have a lighter taupe, but it wasn't gonna be in until like October. And I was like, nope, girl, can't wait that long. So like, can we just talk about the similarities of these jackets? Like you see all the zippers are in the exact same places. It fits exactly the same and it is really, really soft. I was a little nervous about washing this one. You guys know how I am. I wash everything before I share it on here because I wanna make sure it doesn't tear up. I know that you moms on here, you don't have time to be like waiting on your stuff to get dry cleaned or hunt, like hung to dry. It's just not, it's not a thing that we do in my house. If it can't last through the dryer, it doesn't last. So I was a little nervous about this piece and Sam did surprise me. He actually pulled it out of the wash and did hang this one to dry and it was perfect. But I was really nervous about it even going through the washing machine. But the integrity of it is still held up very well. It's a really pretty color. Um, I thought it would also look a little bit cheap in person and it looks exactly like the blank NYC one that I've seen. Like the suede looks just like this. I've seen that one in person. I just can't get my hands on one. Um, so this is probably one of my most exciting pieces that I will wear a lot. I think the color is really, really good, but I also really want the light taupe one. This pink sweater, I've worn this a lot this year. I probably wore it well into spring. You guys have seen it a few times, I'm sure. Um, it is just a blush pink sweater from Amazon. I've had it for about a year. This one is see-through. You have to wear a tank top underneath it, which I don't love but I think it's a really cute knit sweater. It's a good size, it fits well, but you know, I mean, it's just, it's a really comfortable piece. Um, so I think it comes in a few different colors. This is the pink one. I will link it below for you guys if you want to um, purchase it, but just to know, see-through. If you don't like wearing tank tops underneath, then you're definitely gonna have to pass on this one. Okay, only a few more pieces. I'm trying not to make this video too long. I've got this teddy coat that I've had for, I think it's actually been two years at this point. I think one of my first Amazon videos ever, um, I shared this teddy coat. Very comfortable, holds up very well. The one thing I did not like about this coat, actually let me grab it, is it had these very cheapy, like plastic clasps on it. And I was like, oh. Oh no, you could like see them if you didn't close. Ah, so here's one. It's very low on the jacket, but like this is the clasp and then it had these like looped plastic things on the, I was just, I was like, Ugh, no. So I actually cut them off and I just don't ever like fully close the coat and I think it looks great. It fits well. It is coming off a little bit more. Hmm, I'd say it's pretty true to color. Um, it's a very light taupe color. Now, it has picked once here, but that was actually my fault. I was sitting on like one of those chairs that like pulls, you know, feel like hair gets tangled in it, it like rips it out. And um, I could feel when I like leaned up, my coat got stuck and I just like pulled and it kind of made this. So that was my bad, but I mean, otherwise it is held up really well. It's very soft. Um, not something I feel like I have a, teddy coat that I wore when I was in Wisconsin last winter and it was cold up there and that one lasted me like it was great for that. I'm not sure this would have been the same level of warmth but it would have been very freaking close. So this is a little bit more of a stylish piece but still going to keep you very warm when it is colder out. 
I was very disappointed in the color of this. This looked very burnt orange online, but I really love this sweater. I was just like, what is with that daggum color? Like this is like Clemson orange. We don't do Clemson in this household. It's a very well-made sweater, fits true to size, doesn't, you know, have any weird kinks to it, hasn't torn up. I threw it in the dryer and it came out with no wrinkles and it did have some wrinkles when it was delivered. So, I mean, it's a really good material. It's a good price. I just can't stand when Amazon has something looking one color online and then it comes in and it's like nine shades brighter but it's okay i will probably still wear this this fall it'll just depend um on my mood because i don't think i can get away with wearing this in my house to be honest because like i said we don't do clemson orange here and then the last actual like cardigan or top is this piece and oh my gosh i have seen so many expensive cardigans that look just like this one. This has a very um, put together look. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself. I keep saying the word structured, but you guys know what I mean. Like it doesn't look cheap or like just like a lazy day cardigan. You could wear this in a bunch of different settings, including a professional one, depending on where you work. Um, this is probably gonna be the way I style it. It's just with like leggings and a t-shirt and some tennis shoes on a very casual like Saturday or something. Um, it's thin enough that you're not gonna sweat on those warmer cool days but it is thick enough i mean it's definitely gonna keep you warmer from the wind i don't even know if i'm making sense at this point i just keep repeating myself but you guys understand like i put so much research like i don't just buy things like on amazon for the sake of buying them like I make sure they have a certain look to them. I want to know what they look like on people. I want to know how the sizing works and if they hold up after they're washed and dried. So I put a lot of research into it. And so these pieces are just like, whew, they're good. And then the last two pieces I have here. So these I will start with you guys. I was like floored when I found these. So they look on camera. I do need to take a steamer to them. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize they were so wrinkly. Um, these look cheap on camera in person they look just like spanx like i don't know why they're coming off super shiny i can only assume it's because of the ring light behind and like you can see the wrinkles but like these feel so expensive they're so thick they have a slight stretch to them but it's not anything crazy like like you're not gonna have to find yourself you know pulling these up after you've had them on for a while they are zipped up in the back and i did get the i believe Oh, I can't remember. I put the size on the screen. Um, medium. But I, got, I did get a medium and they fit pretty perfect, which is what I usually wear on my waist. So I love these shorts and I cannot wait to style them so many ways. If you can't tell from my vibe this year, this is my vibe. And then this skirt is also, I just got that all in my lipstick. Oh no. Okay. It came off. Oh. <gasps> So this is actually a really good blank NYC look-alike as well. It is a like faux suede, or actually it might be real suede. I don't know, that feels real expensive. But regardless, it's a skirt from Amazon in a very light taupe color. Um, I got the four to six. I read the reviews and I could not for the life of me figure out what daggum size to wear. Some people were like, it doesn't fit. It doesn't do this, it doesn't do that. And then I read one review and I totally agree with her. I keep because I like work out all the time, like I take my measurements and so I have my measurements on an app on my phone um, that I also like track my weight with. And so if I'm ever like in between sizes or I'm confused on what to get, I'll just go look at the measurements. And she said, take out a tape measure and actually do the research. Don't just look at people like, don't just look at like pictures of people in the reviews and assume that if you're the same size as them, like that will work for you because your bodies are just, are they're different. And so I went by the size chart and it fits perfect. This is a four to six. The length is really good on this too. I'm very tall and I was impressed with, with the length of this and how it didn't look super short, doesn't ride up. And I do like that it has a zipper in the back, but it also like, um, kind of like bunches a little bit. So it's going to be like fitted to you without being too tight. So this is the final piece. I hope I did not talk too much. I know that you guys really like these long videos, but I worry that they're like a little too much at times, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button. If you're new here, I put up Amazon videos all the time. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up 
Everything will be linked in the description bar below, so don't forget to check there first. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you in my next video.